everybody. I am live from Barrett Jackson, the world's largest collector car auction here in Las Vegas. And I'm uh, going to try and do at least one of these a day to give you guys a little feel for Barrett Jackson. So I'm going to flip the camera around. There we go. So this is uh, just how you walk in to Barrett Jackson, Las Vegas. And uh, just bring you guys in, you walk into the Ford exhibit, which is pretty cool. You can see uh, some of their standard cars. And then you've got a uh, selection of Mustangs. And then you've got my favorite part over here, of course, the new Ford GT and Heritage livery. Um, but this is what I like right here. So. This is an actual race car with drivetrain, so this isn't just a show pony. This is the uh, real deal for GT IMSA car. So we'll give you a little look. You can uh, peek in there and see the engine is in there. And it's making me miss my GT40. There you can see the uh, that rear diffuser, which is just crazy. And you can see the backside of the transaxle. And then, of course, that massive rear wing. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. And, of course, the, uh, the GT streetcar here next to it. But uh, this is very, very... Very cool, and uh, I did sneak and open this up last night when no one was around, but I can't pull that off here. So here we are, here's the display for Hillbank, Superformance, and Shelby Legendary Cars. We've got our Gulf livery GT40 Mark I, and our British Racing Green slab side, which was just featured on Autotopia LA's YouTube channel. And we've got Beautiful yellow 427 Roadster, beautiful black 427 SC, Monza red and black car. That one's got a 550 horsepower Roush motor in it and is pretty cool. Got a little rep piping on the seats. Very nicely done car. Polished 15 inch wheels. I, um, I think at least the black car and the red and black car will not survive the week here without being sold. I think we can count on that. And we have our Admiral Blue number two Corvette Grand Sport, which just looks fantastic in the lights. And last but not least, the Viking Blue Bondurant FIA car. Um, there goes Todd Andrews. We've got um, Ashton over here talking with someone on the Corvette. So pretty cool spot we have here every year right next to Ford. And right by the entrance, we get a good flow of traffic by here. It's been a pretty busy day, um, a little slow right now. Uh, so it's a good time for me to do a walk around. We have our neighbors here every year from Haley. They do uh, beautiful custom cabinets for garages. So a uh, great uh, little addition for anybody's man cave. Uh, some pretty cool furniture they have here too with uh, kind of automotive themed stuff. And the beautiful cabinets, recliners, really, really nice. Be uh, nice stuff for your man cave. I love the shock-inspired stools, and even the table is adjustable height, which is really cool. Like their stuff a lot. And let's see, we'll walk around a little more. We'll walk down toward the uh, bidding hall. Seem to have good signals, so we'll keep going. We'll see how that holds up. People from Danmar with their lifts, stuff for your garage, all kinds of vendors here in the vendor area. You've got beds, uh, sleep numbers here. We've got Gateway Bronco here with beautiful Broncos. They take old Broncos and build them up brand new with all kinds of modern stuff. Hey, David. Hey, we've got uh, one of our Gulf GT40s here, which I know you love. David owns one of our, our Gulf livery GT40s and drives it all over the place and enjoys it like it should be. You got uh, innovative skin solutions, all kinds of fun stuff here. You got massage chairs. 
Like I said, this is just the vendor area. We haven't even gotten anywhere close to the auction yet. Then uh, Toyota's booth, which what I really like here is this. My kind of SUV uh, set up for full drag duty. Got the wing parachute on the back. They call it the drag Koya. Sequoia set up for a drag car. Definitely my kind of uh, SUV. See some Porsches, a Bentley, a Tesla. Starting to see Teslas go across the auction block. That'll be interesting. It's a nice customized Jeep. A little Mopar action right here. Charger RT. Got that nice sleeper look with the plain hubcaps. I like that. GT350 Mustang. You got a Volkswagen bus over there. Nice. Chevy C10, Nova, beautiful Impala, little resto modded Impala, like that. Older Toyota Supra, we'll see if the Supras get any lift from the new Supra coming out. Nice Corvette. And uh, it's on all sides here. 23 window bus. Those go for big money now. And we'll do a quick walk through the staging lanes. It'll be a little loud with the auction going. Nice little hot rod here. Fair lane with a 427 in it. Look at this Fiat. Hey, Bar, that's pretty cool. The Fiat 500 race car. You got the McGuire's guys here getting the cars all cleaned up, getting them ready to go across the block. This mug's pretty cool. You got a Buick Grand National. Not a GNX, but a Grand National. Pretty cool. I like those. Always had a soft spot for those. See somebody hopping out of the Prowler. Nice Camaro. around to the other side and show you where they come off. I can't cut across the uh, stage. So we'll shortcut around the back side of the arena and show you some of that. But some of this memorabilia stuff is absolutely crazy. Like whatever size garage you have, you can fill it up in here for sure. With the uh, floor here, and you got some of the suites up top. It's the uh, Motor Trend part at work, bringing you the action live. 
Thank you, Motor Trend, for making this such a cool event. And then uh, we got a bar on this side, just so you don't have to walk too far. Now I think uh, this is a Mopar Chris Jacobs might approve of, and it sure speaks to my North Carolina roots. There is a uh, General Lee, faithfully reproduced and very nicely done. And then you got Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane's car from Hazard County. There you have a uh, Corvette C8. And then uh, we'll come down the back side of the arena here. Let's see, there's a uh, 05 GT. And then you've got a Shelby GT 500. Beautiful truck. Got a Chrysler 300. Little Corvette Resto Mod. Beautiful Woody. I may try and stick close to see uh, if I can show that one coming across the block. Yeah, here's a couple of Superbirds right here. Very nice looking cars. Beautiful, in fact, I love these. Very, very cool. This one yellow with the white interior. This one green with the black. And of course, you know, I do love my Fords. So we've got the uh, Galaxy 500 with the 427 in it. Look at the Thunderbolt. Now we're talking. Anybody like a Thunderbolt out there? Hey everybody, day two from Barrett Jackson and we're live. And uh, guess where we're at here? Surrounded by Cobras and GT40s and four Cobras, Corvette Grand Sports. Yes, I'm in the Superformance Hillbank Shelby Legendary Cars booth and uh, having a good time today. Been a busy day. Seen a lot of fun people today. And I'm going to do a quick walk around. I'm going to take you uh, opposite end from where I went yesterday. So for those of you that watched yesterday, it came to a screeching halt when uh, Motor Trend shut down my Facebook Live. Um, I think I intimidated them. Maybe they think I've got a bigger viewership. Uh, probably not. But um, yeah, I'm going to stay away from the auction stage today and send uh, go down to the other end where maybe it's a little safer and I can be a little more low key. I got a feeling I might run into my friend Christy Lee. So we'll see if we can get Christy Lee on and uh, have her part of the Facebook Live today. So I'm going to switch the camera around. That's an interesting top configuration on this hot rod here. Very interesting. Oh, no problem. Cool looking little hot rod. So this is a 1921 Stutz custom pickup. So that is pretty cool. Pick that out. I like the front end on it. It's really cool looking. 1921 Stutz custom pickup. It's got a 350 in it. Very cool build. Hey, you've got cup holders, automatic tranny, little touchscreen infotainment going on. This is cool. This uh, top is very interesting. I assume it detaches, or maybe it just tilts up uh, to get in and out. Cool looking bed on it, cool fenders. And it's a studs. That's pretty interesting. Never seen anything like that. And then uh, something we have seen, 69 Camaro, this one's custom. Nice engine compartment. Not overdone, not underdone. Very nice. Very nice. Old Toyota four-wheel drive pickup. Reminds me of the uh, Toyota pickup in uh, Back to the Future. Another one. This one sold 16 and a half thousand. 87 Toyota pickup. So we've got here a little Alpha.
Nice looking Camaro SS. Oh, check this out. I saw this one headed to go across the block. Talk about uh, some custom patina here. 1950, 3100 custom pickup. Yeah, and all this uh, faux rust and patina is all being clear coated. Check this out. Wow. Driven by Samuel Jackson in Triple X, State of the Union. That is a car. Holy smokes. Oh, nice little uh, Mustang. So these, I remember seeing this Porsche go across late yesterday. Beautiful little 914. Gorgeous car. Oh, here's a Mini Moke. Always had a soft spot for the Mini Mokes. Check that out. This one sold for 9000 2018. Mini Moke. Be great for Balboa Island, running around the island. It's like a little golf cart. Check out the inside. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, for the um, Corvette guys. Let's see what we've got. We've got a little pace car action over here. What are you looking at? All right, we got an Indy pace car. Check this out. 98 pace car, 71,000 miles, sold for 19K. And uh, certainly bright, very bright, colorful car. I'm going to give you the uh, full effect down the side here. Wow, cool Bronco. Sold for 30000 Very original looking. Very nice. And look at this Chevy. 3200 custom pickup. This thing's a monster. That's pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. Oh, Datsun. Not my favorite color, but this is a beautiful, yeah, clean car. 21,000 so. for a 72 240Z. Interior's beautiful. What a nice car. Right, Daryl Uncut Bronco, you don't see those too much. Usually they've been hot rotted up. Beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love it. Very original inside. This is a GS. Oh my. Stage one GS. This needs to be uh, part of my collection one day. This is the same color. My car was, my car had a white interior, white hard top. Mine had the same automatic tranny with the same console with the U-shaped shifter. Oh my gosh, this is like a time machine for me. Beautiful car, same wheels, nice little spoiler on the back. And here we got a 442. Beautiful, sister to my uh, GS Stage 1. Pretty car. I don't know about the red inner fenders. I don't know if that's um, original to the car. There you see beautiful little Chevy 2. Looks like the... Uh, if you look down the side, a little bulge on the rear fenders there, a little subtle custom touch. Oh yeah, and it's caged, fully caged. Wow, a lot of work done on this. A lot of work done on this. Beautiful engine compartment. Yeah, this is nice. 66 Nova Custom Coupe. 
why not put it on Facebook? And I love this. This thing is badass. This Volvo uh, does autocross. You can tell it's got uh, some serious meat on it. This thing is badass. I really, really, really like it. Beautiful car. They've got the uh, the cars set up here, the Bondurant cars, Hellcats. So these guys are getting ready to go. And this is pretty cool. Here they go, they're getting ready. Well, these are demons. Dodge Demons, so you get to feel what a demon really feels like on the drag stroke. Oh, there you go. Wheels up. That's pretty cool. That looks like fun. That looks like fun. That color is badass. That car is badass. We must be on badass road because there's some badass cars here. Holy smokes. Camaro, Camaro, Camaro. Lots of 60 Camaros. We got a Chevelle. There. Now check the finish out on the bumpers and the trim here. Wow. That's a beautiful car. Speaking of beautiful cars, check this out. Sixty-seven Corvette, complete body off restoration, four twenty-seven, four hundred horse, four speed manual. Posi traction. So this is a car. This will be a, a high dollar car. I'm pretty sure this will go for well over a hundred. And then um, this silver and black combo has always been on my list. Pretty, pretty gorgeous here. Especially with the red and black interior. Just that little pop of red. Looks really nice. Then we get into uh, more of a resto mod here. But a nicely done resto mod and some more resto mods. Check this thing out. Here you go, sis. This would be good for uh, bombing around in the pasture. Really custom Jeep. That'll take you just about anywhere you want to go. Look at the wheels on this thing. Holy crap. Wilwood brakes. Got some good stuff on this. And completely different. Look at this Carmen Ghia. Boy, this thing's beautiful. 68 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Okay, I'm feeling this. This is cool looking. I really like this. Beautiful Carmen Ghia. Are you a car? Yeah, um, I'm working on that. You got a few things to handle first, but then we'll uh, we'll find you a car. This is cool. I have no idea what the hell this is. Let's find out together. Auto Bianchi transformable convertible. I've never heard of this. So here's something brand new I've never heard of. It's got a cloth rollback top, air cooled rear engine, built in 59, limited production with a higher horsepower engine. 500 cc, 21 horsepower. So that's the uh, the Hellcat version. Speaking of Hellcat, there's the car I got in trouble for yesterday when I filmed it going across the block, the Hellcat Miata. How about this, sis? How about a Mazda Miata with a Hellcat motor in it? This sold for $33,000.
crazy build. A lot of engineering in this car. 30, 30,000 doesn't even begin to cover. I'm going to guess this is probably, oh, if I had to take a shot in the dark, maybe an $80,000, $85,000 build. Just crazy to me. 65 Riviera over here, I believe. I love those clamshell headlights that open up. One of my favorite things on these. Yep, 65 Riviera. That sold for 22000 Beautiful car. There's another uh, Bronco, reasonably unmolested. Definitely lifted. Got some suspension work done. Another beautiful Chevy pickup. Camaro Resto Mod. Hot rod truck to pull your horse trailer. Okay, I'm on a mission here to find my sister a hot rod truck to pull the horse trailer. I don't think the Jeep will be good for towing because it's got a short wheelbase. Um, I see a line of trucks, sis, so I'm on my way. On my way. Here these guys are pushing the Bentley. I don't know why. You would think something like that would be running. But, uh, hey, if you got to push something, I'll assist. We'll see if we can find you something a little better. Um, there's a line of trucks over here. Let's see if we can find you something like that. one's too low. I don't think you can tow with something that's uh, bagged like that. So, uh, we'll see. This truck's not hot-rotted. It is cool, though. Uh, we got a... K5 Blazer. The Blazer could possibly do for you, sis. I don't know how you feel about that. It's pretty nice. And uh, definitely got some hot rod going on under the hood. Um, you got a winch on the front, so that's cool, and a brush bar, and some lights. Um, you got some nice seats in here, some buckets, wood steering wheel. You got the racy uh, tack over the steering wheel. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. So, sis, there's a contender. There's a contender for you. Uh, let's see what else we got. The Volkswagen's not going to, it's cool, but it's not going to pull your stuff. Uh, this one's probably not going to do it either. So,. I think for now, I'll keep my eyes open, but I think that, uh, that red Chevy is going to do it. Hey, Renee, um, the four GTs are over on the other end, so I'll go back over to those. Uh, maybe for my live tomorrow, we'll go back over and uh, check out the four GTs again. You never have to ask me twice on the four GTs. There you can hear the auction going in the background. And uh, see if I can find one more truck hey Eddie my friend from the UK how you doing mate hope things are well for you over there and Claire you guys are doing well Eddie and his wife have um, jumped on our nutrition program and just smashing it over in the UK oh sis this is beautiful I don't think it's got a lot of towing capacity uh, but another beautiful Chevy 1955 window custom pickup I don't know this might tow something um, but man it's beautiful this is gorgeous oh my god this thing's beautiful I, I'm in love with that truck um, then we got an Aston Martin and a Bentley and another Bentley Little string of luxury cars here, Jaguar, older Jag, uh, beautiful Caddy. Same owner for 35 years. Custom Jeep CJ. So, all kinds of cool stuff. I'll keep you guys on as I uh, walk back through, back to work here. It's a Grand National, the turbocharged six cylinder V8 killer. Those are always really cool. Another Volkswagen bus. Tons of Volkswagen buses, trucks, 
all kinds of Volkswagen creations going on over here. We'll uh, cruise back through. <laughs> yeah, sissy. You definitely can't get mud on that one. It's a, it's a little on the pretty side, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna wait right here because I see Christy Lee's assistant standing outside the ladies' room, so that tells me Christy Lee is in there. So we'll wait and ambush her when she comes out. Ferrari, Bentley. Little Caddy El Dorado. Oh, here's a nice truck. I don't think you're towing with this one, though. Yeah, we'll let Christy Lee do the heavy lifting on that. She sees everything here, so she'll let me know. Yep, that one's uh, that one's hot rodded for sure. There we go. Very nice, beautiful. But I can't see you driving that through the mud. Definitely no mud on that one. Here's a uh, Rusty Wallace genuine draft NASCAR. Oh, actually, Brad Keselowski in the old Rusty Wallace trim. Showing my age. Like, you just, it's impossible to like see everything on a quick walkthrough. Another Mopar for my Mopar friends. 59 Mercedes convertible. This. I would rock this in a heartbeat. That's beautiful. Check that out. Try and do my little uh, Hollywood pan here. Wow. Gorgeous stuff. Okay, sis. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think this could be it. Look at this. You got 450 horsepower Cummins 5.9 liter. 900 foot-pounds of torque. So this is going to pull anything you want to pull. It's a crew cab. It's got a winch. It's got killer tires. Look at this huge cab. Beautiful interior. Yeah, I think, I think we got a winner, sis. The color is amazing. Um, got a hitch receiver so we're all good there it's got a winch on the back too so you got a winch front and back look at that bed holy smokes that okay sis this is my vote this is definitely my vote right here dodge power wagon that 